The gender norms in the countries with whom a global firm interacts really matters for the share of women that the firm itself hires. So global firms, multinationals, and exporters, when they interact with more gender-equal countries, they themselves hire a greater share of women. My name is Alyssa Schneebaum. I'm an assistant professor here at the Institute for Heterodox Economics here at the WU Vienna. Does globalization provide opportunities for gender equality and employment? We looked at data on 30,000 firms in 100 different developing countries, and we analyzed whether the gender norms in the countries to whom a firm exports or from whom it receives foreign direct investment influences the share of women that the firm hires in different types of positions. The findings were striking. Exposure to norms of gender equality really does matter. Exporters whose customers are in countries with equal gender norms hire six to seven percentage points more women than domestically owned non-exporters in the same market. Multinationals whose investors are in countries with equal gender norms hire 17 to 18 percentage points more women. But the beneficial effects of exposure to equal gender norms are not the same across the board. The effects are strong and positive when we look at production workers, so workers on assembly lines. They're there, but weaker when we look at non-production jobs, like office workers. When we look at top managers, though, there's no positive effect at all. The findings are important because they show how trade and investment can serve as a medium through which gender norms can be transmitted across countries. But the limitations we find are just as important. It will take more than exposure to norms of gender equality to get women into the top jobs.